this is my second take trying trying to film this vlog. Uh, some guy came just came knocked on my door and in, in, interrupted my first one. Uh, he thought I was not. I don't know. He he thought I looked really sick, so he came came to see if I I was okay and I'm fine. But anyway, let's let's give this another shot. Uh, it has been a been a while since I've posted a vlog for you guys, contain, containing con, containing any actual content um, of you know anything that's useful or interesting or helpful. So I thought I I would make this brief video for you guys um, and more of a, more of a PSA than anything and I, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that there are some neuro neurological conditions out there that can believe it or not make a, a person appear drunk and, and or high when they're not in talk intoxicated at all um, you know I, I do have that problem sometimes uh, s sometimes for no reason but not a, a, as much anymore it usually happens after coming out of passing out um, which I, I did do about, about a half hour ago but I I feel pretty normal, so you guys probably can't tell at all. Um, anyway, it's just, it's kind of interesting, and um, it's one thing that is re really embarrassing when it happens, especially in public around people who, who don't know that you have a condition that is causing it. Um... So uh, just keep keep an open mind. Um, you know, next time you you see someone behaving oddly in public or whatever, um, don't necessarily assume that they went you know out partying with friends and got ham hammered. Uh, damn it, sorry, muscle spasms. Um, don't don't necessarily really make that assumption um, keep keep in, in mind that some conditions can r result in sh strange behavior that can mimic being intoxicated um, yeah so I, I don't know if you guys sort of found that interesting um, yeah <laughs> uh, the the la last time I I came out of passing out, uh, I w was in the living room with my mom, and I, I had just come out of passing out, and my, my mom says for for a, about twenty minutes after that, I kept adamantly like begging her not to forget to shave the canned yams. Uh, so, and I was, I don't remember any of it, but she said I was just laying on the floor, um, acting drunk, I guess you could say. I've never been drunk. I can't r risk that, obviously, with, with my brain injury, a hangover would be a living hell for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it can happen, and I, I think that's one thing that a lot of people aren't necessarily aware of um, and you know I've I know the looks that I, I get when it happens in public and obviously I try to leave <laughs> when I can but um, it, it makes you very disoriented um, you know if, if you've been drunk you you probably know what I'm talking about um, anyway so I'm sorry it's been so long since I've made a vlog um, and I I hope this was sort of you know enough for you. I, I will try to make uh, something with a little bit more content in the next few days if I have the spoons. Um, yeah, thank you for being so, so patient 
Uh, it's really appreciated. Um, those of you who f follow my Facebook know that my family and I are going through a lot right now. Um, you know, long st story short, we we've run out of options here for treatments and and stuff. And uh, you know, we I've seen just about all the doctors that will even take me in Maine and uh, not only Maine but New Hampshire and some other places as well. Um, so it's it's gotten to the point where. Um, I mean, we've already traveled quite a bit, but we're going to have to go further, and we're dealing with a lot right now, uh, trying to see if the Boston Children's Hospital will take me as a patient, um, and just, it's been very stressful, um, you know, I'm obviously, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm not feeling wonderful, It's it's been rough, I'm managing, but anyway, thank you.